I haven't posted in a while. I'm just going through a transition. Wait a minute. Not that kind of transition. I'm a girl. And I'll always be a girl. But that's just me. Well, this is about the birds and progress. Their suffering is my motivation. This diary is about a 90-year-old lady who's legally blind and has two blue and golds, and she can no longer give them the care that she once did. So I'm headed to LA to pick them up. Okay, I'm driving into Long Beach in a rental car right now to pick up two blue and gold macaws from a 90 year old woman who is legally blind and she told me that she can't see where to put the food anymore and these past years they've been neglected because of her age but she loves them so much they've been a big part of her life and she feels comfortable and at ease that I'm going to take them and know what's awesome about this story? When I talked to the 90-year-old lady yesterday, Betty, she told me that darn Taylor Swift concert, there's going to be so much traffic, so you might have to take an alternate route. I love that she's hip to Taylor Swift at 90. Anyways, I'm a few miles from there, and I'm going to try and uh, video that. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay, pretty girl. That's a pretty girl. Hi, pretty bird. Hi, pretty bird. Hi, pretty bird. Hello. Hello, pretty bird. It's okay. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. It's okay. It's right here. Yeah. Someone did try to break in. Well, how do you think they entered your hello? Oh, Heidi, this is Heidi. Hi, good Heidi. morning. I'm Heidi. Nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, how are you? She's in the And she's for the birds. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello, pretty bird. It's okay. You don't have to look at that. You don't have to look at that, pretty bird. They're all beautiful. Uh, like I say, she... First of all, I want to say how cool Betty is for a 90-year-old. She looked my age. And just a wonderful lady. She really loved these birds. She handed me a packet with detailed notes of what they say, their favorite foods, etc. cetera. And um, it was hard for her. How cool is this perch thing my brother-in-law made in like five minutes? They loved it. It was sturdy, they had something to hold on to. And like I said, those car is associated with traumatic events. Usually they're in those carriers and it's associated with maybe the vet or a new home. It's never a good experience. But this is their first time they rode um, in a car without being in a box and see the world. There's one thing that really creeped me out one of the birds, she said, got egg bound once. So this doctor, an avian surgeon, put in like a bird IUD. I almost started crying. It's like the doctor mangula of animals. She said the IUD has been taken out, but it's just like, it just makes me so painful for me. I always bring pistachios when I pick birds up. I stopped and got apple juice. One of them went crazy for it. But they were chill. They were curious. They were looking out the window, looking all around. Whoa. I called Betty as soon as I got home, told her about the drive, how everything is. And um, I should post better pictures, but already one of my blue and gold males is after, I don't know, both of them. But they're still, they can't figure out like what happened, why they left their home, but they'll adjust. And I will do everything I can to make sure that they have 
the best life they can under the circumstances of the current climate of our world.